This is the Wow Hua Hin channel, hosted by Kun Nook. I'm here with Kun Manasavi Emmanuel. Her name is Kun An. From, she's from Rio. Everyone knows her. Sadika. Sadika. Look what Pian. Pian, huh? Okay, ka. Please tell me a little bit of your background, where you're from, and um, what education, like where did you study? Okay, yes. I am from uh, Galasin. So, Galasin is uh, from the northeast of Thailand, which is, I live in a very small village called uh, Sahasakan. So, I was born there, which uh, I studied there also until the secondary school. And then after that, I would like to study in Bangkok. So I decided to have an uh, examination in the Bangkok, which is I select so many uh, universities, Jualongkorn University, Mahidon University, which is in the end, so I passed a test to uh, come to study in the Red Cross uh, College. And it belongs to uh, Jualongkorn University. With, uh, it's about uh, scholarship, so, my mom's very happy with that, and I'm also very happy, yes. So you were in like a nursing school, like yes. you learned about, like you were a nurse before? Yeah, I'm a nurse. How long, how long like have you been like doing? Yeah, I graduated uh, more than 17 years. After I graduated, I, ha I work at a small clinic in Bangkok. So that clinic, it's like a primary care. So uh, we also have a uh, you know special specialist doctor for the sexual disease. Yes, a skin uh, doctor. What made you decide to come to Hua Hin? Yeah. Are you married or? Yeah, yeah I'm married. <laughs> That's my last name. <laughs> yeah, my husband is from the Netherlands. So. Why I decided to come here is not just because I would like to open the clinic here. We have a lot of trouble with environment in Bangkok, okay. which is I don't like there, you know, the traffic and the pollution. So then four years ago, I decided to move to Hua Hin here. And then after I moved to Hua Hin, so my idea is already, I would like to open the clinic. Mm -hmm. So that's why we come here and then we, we like, okay, let's see something and then uh, let's open the clinic. Mm -hmm. So how, how long have like this clinic been open? Like yeah. We've been open for two and a half years. Yes, we opened since uh, 2019. How did you come up with the idea like opening the Be Well Clinic? Yes, first start, as you know that I have a background as a nurse. So my dreams is I would like to have a clinic my own clinic and then we have our uh, friends close friend he live in the Netherlands so he own a clinic uh, that you call in the Netherlands is a house doctor so and then my husband and I said hmm, why don't we open that here in Hua Hin British you know the foreigner who live here they need that so the idea and the concept for the Be Well Medical Center is a primary care which is is the first stop for the patient when the patient has some problems, so they come to us and then they see the doctor here, a general practitioner. The doctor will be the one who helping them to see, ah, okay, you have this uh, hypertension, why is come up with that? Do you need to do the MRI? Do you need to do CT scan or not? If not, and then, you know, the doctor here will, okay, then we start from the medication here. This is the first point of the patient. Do you have any other location, just like except for this one? Yeah, we have two locations here in Ho Hint. I have uh, another one in the Black Mountain. Oh, wow. Yes, we just opened six months ago, yeah. Is Be Well successful for this type of business? Yeah, I would say we are success, you know. When we just opened for two and a half years and now we have two thousand and a half members with this because of we are different concept. Mm -hmm. Who is your target? Yes. Our target, uh, most of our target is the foreigners who are retirement and living here, most is resident and uh, they all expect, yes. So like, how did people find out about the Be Well? Yeah. I would say they were searching already about that before we opened. I think the foreigner they love to have a family healthcare, a family doctor. Once we opened it, I didn't do anything much to advertise. People know like we are the family doctor here and then they come up and then you know 
by that time it was COVID crisis, so I, I, I would say like we are so lucky. Yeah, and the people they don't want to go to they don't want to go to the hospital, so they come to be well, and then suddenly and then they, you know, telling keep telling their friends, mm -hmm. you know, we growing up like this because of our good reputation. What do you provide for the clients, the patients that come to be well? Yes, we provide uh, uh, primarily healthcare. It's the patient come here, they come because of like a common disease. So common disease is like you see the general practitioner here and then they were helping you to generate a disease and then they refer you to the hospital. And then we also provide uh, the medication, the blood test, and we also have acupuncture, a physiotherapy here. We also have the uh, rehabilitation room upstairs, yes. Like, do you provide, like, okay, if somebody, like, really sick at home, like, do you send the staff to, you know, like, that kind of service too? Yes. So, what is different here is that, thank you for this question. So, I think we are different from the others, like, we have the service at home, like, we go when we go to visit the patient at home in the day and in the night time. With the emergency in the night time, we also do quite often. Yeah. Do you provide any kind of membership? Yeah. Like we also have the membership system here, as you know, right? So to become the member here is like you will got in including that the blood test, twelve type of blood test and electrocardiogram, including that also. Wow. Yeah, and every time when you walk to be well, you will get the member rate mm -hmm. because we have two two rate is for the member and general. Yes. Okay. This is the Wow Hua Hin channel. Why do people come here instead of going to the hospital? In town, we have two, um, two or three big hospitals. Yes. Well, I would say it's quite difficult. You know, why people come in here? We try very hard on that also. The first time, in, you know, you understand that Thai culture and also the foreigner who are living here for a long time, whatever happened to them, they are going to the hospital. Yes. And then why they're coming here now? Because of, you know, to coming here, that you will see, you know, are you really have a true uh, disease? Are you really have a trouble like you need to do MRI or X-ray? Are you really need to see the specialist? Why are you coming here? Because of you're gonna see the general practitioner to talk with you about a general disease first before you jump into the chronic disease or the specialist that you need to see. Yeah. Like do like do you provide the service? You know, sometimes you go to the hospital and it takes so much time. Like so, your service like is it faster than like those places? Yeah, sure. Because we you know um, our care is not that big as a primary care, so our service is very fast. Because normally the patient come here and then they have blood test. They see the doctor and they can wait like only 30, 40 minutes for the blood test, and then the doctor will already see the result and then we you know give the medication to the patient or we recommend them to see our physio or acupuncture yeah so you said you have another location in black mountain do you provide the same thing as like this place yeah in the black mountain is not uh, really complete like this uh, branch because in uh, black mountain we do satellite normally our doctor will visit there only two times a week on uh, tuesday and thursday afternoon yeah Wait, what's the future for Be Well? Yeah, our future, like, I would like to uh, let uh, people who live in Hua Hin, or not just only in Hua Hin, to know more about uh, primary care. You know, because why is very important to start with your uh, primary care. You can save a lot of money, you can save a lot of time, and also you, you can go to the right doctor. Mm -hmm. So I like to uh, have like seminar with, with the Thai people because I'm not worried about the expert. The expert, they really understand the concept. Yeah. How do you see the future of Ho Hin being um, a wellness center? Well, I can see uh, many opportunities here for the wellness center. Because in Ho Hin, we located on the beach, at, you know, surrounding by the mountains and then the people here are very nice and you know no criminals so it's quite a town so wellness in my in my opinion is you need uh, to live in the 
the good place with is the sun, the beach, the mountains. So you will very really enjoy here. I think definitely, you know, in Hua Hin, you'll be very success as a uh, if somebody is, you know, open the wellness center here. Yes. So you mentioned that um, be well as um, the primary care. Yes. How do you manage like to work with other hospitals? Like, how do you cooperate with them? Yes. We have a very good relationship with the hospitals uh, around here. So, Bangkok Hospital Ho Hin, San Paolo, and uh, Ho Hin Hospital. Wow. Yeah, so we work with them, let's say. When we have a patient who come here, and then if they need to have the investigation, so we always refer them to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time now, we refer to uh, Bangkok Hospital and San Paolo Hospital. Yeah. So those are like only a private hospital in Hoa Hin, right? Yes, we also uh, work with uh, Bam Rung Rat Hospital in Bangkok. Oh, okay. Yes, Summit Divet Hospital, uh, Med Park. Mm -hmm. And also now in the future, not so long, we're going to sign a contract next week, I think. Oh, yes, wow. With uh, BDMS Group, uh, Bangkok Hospital in Bangkok. <laughs> And that one, so it's very interesting for me because they are going to open the Watanasot Center here in Bewell. Oh wow! Yeah, Watanasot is all about uh, cancer. You know, it's a cancer center. Besides working, yeah, you've been working. I know you've been working very hard. What else do you do? Like, do you enjoy Hua Hin? What else do you do here? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I have so many activities. You know, after work, so I go to practice my golf. Not every day, but you know, two, three times per week. And I also really love to read the book. Yeah, I'm always spend a lot of time on reading. Who's your favorite author? Yes, my author is Tracy Bryant. So I, I like him because of you know the the idea of the way of his thinking. So I love that. For Thai, you know, Thai book, I read a lot also, but it's all about a psychologist. Okay. Maybe I'm psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> So just go off, like, do, how often do you go to the beach? Well, I would say not too often, because I'm not a beach girl, you know. I love mountains. So normally I walk up to the mountain sometime, <laughs> last year, but not this year, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much for giving me such a, you know, good info about the future of Hoa Hinh as a wellness center. And then, you know, it's really good opportunity, that, you know, you're going to have like, the cancer center here as well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Wow Hoa Hinh channel. Do leave your comments or questions below and we'll get back to you. The Wow Hua Hin channel is produced by Surf 102.5 and Royal Coast Review in association with The Phoenix Group.